Ooh, fragy, fragy, fragile. G'day, ladies and gents, it's the next storm, the astray. An icon and oh baby oh buddy oh baby oh baby oh buddy don't know who the hell Casey Jones is but we have a package for me Nick Storm I really don't know who that is Casey Jones Teenagers Mutant oh he's one of the Ninja Turtles ah the the Casey Jones the turtle I see but we have a package from Tap Out Collectibles now oh my god did this take forever to get here because Tap Out, what Tap Out Collectibles is, it's an like, Australian online retailer, right? So it has to wait for them to get everything from America and then ship to, to America from Australia and then ship to my bloody house, okay? Ship, ship to, to my, my freaking house. house. And here it is right meow, like a cat. Yeah, I'm super excited for this. I've been waiting a while for this. Uh, I really wanted to get a review out on this because I have a fairly good comparison to compare it to. And that would be, uh, yeah. You know what the hell's going on, uh, buddy old pal old chum. So, without further ado, I want you guys to guess what you think is inside the box. And if you guess correctly, you get to win... Nothing! You get to win absolutely nothing because I get all the figures. <laughs> anyway. Ow! Ow! Just kidding, I'm fine because I'm so strong and my pain tolerance is high and I'm stumbling over my words because this hurt. Ow! And the other side, oh of course, the other side. Also guys, I also got a uh, Pro Wrestling Tees package today from my lovely, lovely girlfriend at Night Shift Customs on Instagram. Go drop her a follow, she's really talented, she likes making uh, shirts and, and all types of fabric goods for your figures, so hit her up if you want some. Pay three million dollars for each piece and it's awesome. But she sent me a Bullet Club shirt. Now I had a Bullet Club shirt before, but uh, it was too like small on me and it ripped and it was just awful. So now, you know, we've got a, a Bullet Club shirt and it looks fine and freaking dandy, look at that. Okay, okay, what do we have here? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, and it's just falling out. It's falling out. Oh, baby. There we have it. So we have the AEW Unrivaled Wave 1B Bubble Wrap. So I really love this figure. This is probably one of my favorite figures ever. Are you kidding me? No, it's not. Get it. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. No, oh, dude. I think, I think my Kenny has forehead problems. Look at that. His forehead's big. Dude, it is big. It's abnormally large. I'm looking at it compared to my Wave 1. Oh, my... I can never win with Jazzwares. I always get the, the silly one. I always get the one that looks silly and stupid. Oh, but nonetheless, whatever. Wave 1. This is the rest of the set, of course. We have the whole of Wave 1 because these guys... Because if you if you notice, they, they already released a Wave 1 from Unrivaled. And, uh... It was not looking too hot. So then they released this series because they wanted to get it, like, be consistent and everything like that with the other waves. So that's why they released, uh, re-released Wave 1, of course, with all the, uh, all the, uh, goofs and gabs, all the, all the stuffs, right? Let's get it hell, oh, let's get it the hell open. Now, if you notice in the background, guys, as well, there's a big crowd. Now, Night Shift Customs actually made that as well for me, so, uh, yeah, it's gonna be cool for like videos and, and photos and everything like that. So check out the channel and uh, the Instagram page at Nick Storm Review to get all that inside goss and everything. Oh my God, look at him! And I'm just gonna oh, destroy him completely. Destroy him. And he face planted and died. Okay, but let's get the rest out of here. So uh, this is a great case defender. No, it's not. Man, like look at him. They. They messed my boy up. Look, they cut his hairline all the way. Dude, he went to the barber shop and he was like, yeah, just the regular thanks. And they cut his hairline to the middle of his head. But I will say the legs and the tights and everything. Oh my God, feels a lot better than the actual wave one. The initial wave one. Uh, it feels a lot better. It looks a lot better. Looks more pinky pink, which is really nice. Oh, of course we have the, oh, I was actually excited to get this figure for these as well. Oh, and I dropped it for these so it's just like the double shooter hands because if you know the unrivaled four kenny didn't come with like a left hand shooter so uh yeah excited to get that because in his in his entrance he goes like this you know up to the up to the devil's sky 
So yeah, let's take a closer look at this Kenny. So yeah, guys, this is the Unrivaled 1B. I was going to say A1, like A1 source. That doesn't really make sense. But the Unrivaled 1B Kenny Omega. Uh, well, yeah, was waiting a while to actually get this in hand because... As I stated before, like at the start of the video, that it takes like a while from it, for it, like all the cases to get from America to Australia, and it's just a, it's just a big freaking headache in my backside. Yep, I get headaches there. I don't know about you guys, but and of course we're gonna do all the Kenny Omega figure comparisons. But for now, let's just take off the garments that he's that he's fairly equipped with. Now, I mainly wanted to get this as well for display purposes because I love having like multiple figures on display, so I could take some off. For like, uh, I don't, I don't have to take some off my shelf for like photography or uh, or anything like that, anything of that nature. And what I am noticing here is a little bit of two tone on the chest. I don't know if it comes out on camera, but I, I can definitely see it in person. And it feels a lot, a lot more stiff. I don't know. The the torso as well is still having that same problem with the unrivaled one. I feel like it will get really loosey goosey after a while. But still, if you guys don't know about the paper tactic, you get a little bit of paper, rip it up, and put it in like the torso hole thingy here. And uh, that should fix your, your unrivaled figures up a lot. Makes it like a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more stiff. And I like it, me likey. Alright, let's get the initial wave one out here. And oh my god, guys, the difference here is is insane. I don't I don't even know what's happening. So this is like me trying to compare the two. And the freaking <laughs> initial wave one won't even stand. Look at him. Where is he looking? He's looking directly at me. He's like staring into my soulless eyes right now. But guys, it's like night and day, literally. It's like, <laughs> it's. I'm so glad Jazzwares did this, first of all. I'm really happy they did this, just so we can have like a consistent looking line as well. Uh, and But like, oh my goodness, it's, it's freaking insane, these figures. A big thing that I will point out though, is I'm noticing in the light, my Kenny head scan is super, super glossy. I think this was the case with most unrivaled figures in like the early stages of their production so like uh, the Chris Jericho I have is pretty glossy the MJF I have is pretty glossy as well uh, I don't know if they're looking to improve that in the in the later lines but hopefully that's a that's a must but on camera my Kenny has again doesn't actually look too bad I guess when I've just had this one in hand like my whole my whole life basically not really but since I've had this one in hand a lot and I've like seen it up close and everything like that I've looked at it I've I've freaking staunched it all right i've learned the ins and outs of it i just like no so i it is pretty different i don't know if you guys have the same uh hair problem as me maybe it's not even a hair problem maybe he just has a big ass forehead in real life as well but if he wanted to kenny could just be like what bang oh my god v trigger get him the hell out of here it's throwing him over the top bro uh, actually, just kidding. I might need him for the for the, the review still. Who knows? What I really wish we got with this figure was how the hand painted ones looked like at Toy Fair 2020, which was like the start, the very start of their process. Jazzwares, their uh, AEW partnership and everything like that. It was the very start of it, and uh, I, I just wish we had something that was closer to the hand painted like models of them, because. I think uh, they look a little bit more accurate than, than what we're seeing here, but again, it's hard to mass produce it in a factory, I'm, I'm assuming, to make it look exactly like that, so. Also, I'll get the entrance vest. This is from the initial Wave 1, and then this is from the Wave 1B. Uh, the pink are different. I think this pink on the initial Wave 1 is more of a hot pink, and this is a more like deep uh, kind of bluey pink, purpley pink. I'm saying pink too much. Oh my freaking god. Uh, it looks a little bit, this one looks a little bit more cleaner, like the 1B looks a lot cleaner than the initial one, uh, which is really nice, you'd love to see that as well, love improvements. You still can't really, I mean, you can when the figure is off, you can like, buckle it up. Can you do it on this one as well? Oh, not really. Can't really do it on this one as well, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see later down the line if we can do that, but, also I wanted to compare the Unrivaled 4 Kenny Omega. A lot of people saying these were the same skin tones. I am noticing a little bit of difference in the skin tones, but it's only like a minor difference. And also, I'd like to point out, I've pointed this out multiple times, but if you notice on the Unrivaled 4, he has a belly button. And then if you notice on the Unrivaled 1 and the 1B, he does not have a belly button. So is that a conspiracy? Was he hatched from an egg? Uh, let me know down in the comments down below. Is he a test tube baby? Who knows, you know? Conspiracy theories. This is like the Twilight Zone, but it's like... The uh, icon zone or something that doesn't have a that doesn't have a good ring to it, but I'm gonna use it. 
But yeah, let me know what you guys think is your favorite Kenny uh, out of the ones that we've gotten released so far. I'm gonna have to say that probably Unrivaled 4 is still my favorite. I was a really big fan of the Wave 1 when it first came out, like this, the, the bad skin tone and everything. I was such a big fan just because it was a first official factory released uh, Kenny Omega figure. So I was very, very excited for that. And yeah, comparing it to what we've gotten now from Jazzwares is freaking insane. Yeah, I just wish the uh, <laughs> my head scan, I, it's always like such a chance. It's a game of chance because First, I have to get it from America, which always takes forever. And then I have to get it from like an Australian retailer online, which then takes even more forever. And then it's just like, yeah, complete game of chance if you get like a good head scan or not. And uh, it, it's always a poopy poopy when you do it and you're like so excited on the figure especially. And then you get it and it's just like, ah, uh, big forehead. But, but maybe it's a, a rare chase variant. Maybe it's the chase variant. It's a big forehead chase variant Kenny Omega from 1B. So yeah, maybe I just have like a really rare figure. Gonna be selling it on eBay for $5 million, guys. Make sure to look out for that. But yeah, also, if you notice on the different parts that they've used for the Unraveled 4, they have different arms, a uh, little bit of a different bottom of torsos as well, which is a cool, fun little fact. What I wanted to do as well is uh, since I had the Run B coming, I really wanted to try this out, see if it looked good, and damn, look at that. That looks really nice. That looks very clean. I was doing this already with my Kenny from Un1. Un1? What? What did I unwin from Unrivaled 1? But uh, I think this looks a lot cleaner just because the paint apps on the 1B came out like a lot nicer, a lot cleaner. <laughs> cleaner. He's a cleaner, dude. He's going to clean up your schools. He's a janitor. Uh, he's going to see like a, a math equation on the board. He's going to solve it. Um, no, this isn't Goodwill Hunting. And this is how that looks as well. The Unrivaled 4 legs with the Unrivaled 1B torso. And look at that, look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Back in the swing of things. So yeah, guys, this has been the review of the Unrivaled 1B Kenny Omega. Now, if you see, I tried to get the entrance jacket uh, clipped on again. It clips in a lot easier than the initial Wave 1 figure, but still, it's it doesn't really clip in fully, which is fine, I guess. Like, the look is still there if you're still going for it. Like, you, you don't really have to clip it up to get the whole look. So, I like that a lot. But yeah, overall, was this figure good? Was it worth it? I mean, if you definitely don't have an Unrivaled 1 Kenny, you should definitely pick this up. Also, if you're just a big Kenny mark like myself, you should also pick it up. Just to have the updated skin tones and everything like that, I think it's definitely worth it. What I think Jazzwares really needs to do is re-release the ringside exclusive Kenny that came with the ring. Because those, those pants, are, those pantalones are freaking insane. But yeah, they should definitely get the ringside exclusive Kenny, re-release that with the updated skin tone. I really want to see that sort of, this head scan, right, but with the different paint apps on their hair as well to make it kind of look like the Unrivaled 4 Kenny, you know, make it kind of look like the Unrivaled 4 Kenny in the hair department. So uh, I think they should definitely do that. I think that'll, that'll sell like Hot Pockets. I uh, don't know where they could release that. I don't know. Hopefully they release like those pants again soon like just like uh, maybe you know, even a different Kenny head scan not one that we've seen before with those pants and I think that'll look uh, insane pants are tight I don't know why I keep calling them pants but yeah I want to thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave a big fat like ski and if you didn't enjoy this video make sure you, you leave a big fat like ski as well I actually did review this unrivaled for Kenny so make sure you click up in the top right to see that video right now as well lovely freaking figure one of my favorite Kenny figures one of my favorite unrivaled figures that I have in my collection right now but yeah other than that uh, binge all my content on my YouTube it's uh, it's a good time I'm just kidding I don't know maybe it is maybe it isn't who knows you be the judge of that by binging all my content <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you sticking by me with this review. Hopefully, uh, you guys have this figure as well. Do you guys have this figure? Do you like this figure? What do you like about it? What do you hate about it? Make sure you let me know in the comments. Also, hit that subscribe button and hit the post notifications on because all three of these men will find where you live and give you a freaking V-trigger from hell, okay? So, do that. But yeah, again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, bye-bye.